welcome to Sherry's Crafting 2017. We're here, we're on Great Big Family, and this is going to be a Halloween decor. You can use it on your front door, it's going to be a wreath, um, or in your house, doesn't matter. And here's what you're going to need. You're going to need your boo hat. All this is from Dollar Tree. And you're going to need a one, two, I need one pack of your eyeballs. And you're going to need two of your chains. And you're going to need floor wire or you can do like I'm going to do. I'm going to use um, zip ties. And to me, I'm using zip ties because, you know, um, they work better. Okay. I am going to fix this camera on well, my laptop where you guys can kind of see right here uh, okay I'm gonna go ahead and take off my tag and I'm gonna show you guys that you can get on there and my boo. We gotta get the tag off of here. So I'll have all that off. And I'll go ahead and I'm gonna show you. You can use this garland instead of using mesh and instead of using flowers. And you will still have a really pretty um, wreath for Halloween or decor item, whichever one you want to do. All right. Oh, and you need one pack of your LED um, bat lights. I forgot about that. And all I'm going to do is take some of my zip ties. I want to do the garland first before I put on um, the accessories and you guys will see why here in a second because I want to try to get it as full as possible and I'll show you I'm going to pick out some of these zip ties because we're going to need a lot I only had two packs at mine and it does not matter that they're not the black ones they do have black ones but mine didn't all right what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do this um I'm gonna wrap the garland and zip tie it on And I'm using three, which I may not need it, but you know, I prefer to have extra, and not having it. All right, I'm gonna put two down here and start with the first one. And I don't like to decorate this around your doors or, or you know, outside with this because it's really, really thin. Um, but I do like using it on my reef. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here on the end and I am going to zip tie my, I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to zip tie one on. And to me, I like to use the zip ties 
And I'm just turning it around to the back side, guys. What I like to do is I like using the zip ties because um, it's a lot easier and quicker. Okay, let me get this one on. And I'm just kind of, you know, mixing it around. And don't worry because, you know, we are going to come back and kind of fluff this out a little bit. But you know this here is not, um, it's not as fluffy as, um, when you're using the mesh. But the more you add, the more fluffier it will be. And just remember, turn your zip ties around to the back side so that way when you go back to trim them you know they're all on one side and when you pull it tight you will see how it's beginning to kind of come together can y'all see how it's coming together? And I'm going to get another zip tie. And I'm just kind of wiring around right beside where the little wire part comes out in the middle of the reef. And pull those zip ties around back. Around back, and it's gonna look full after we get through with all of our decor. On here, Simply going all the way around. All right, since I'm back to where I started, now I'm going to take it and start it on the oops, second row. putting one right there close to the where I start the second row and then I'm going to push that through that way I got that and that is all I'm doing I'm just going around to the second row I'm doing the same thing that I did with the first And I'm not worried about the little white on here um, from the zip tie because you can go back and fill in, you know, kind of puff it out some where you put your um, Don't worry, guys. We're going to cut those off. Because I know I hear a lot of people right now. Why didn't you cut them off as you go? I'll show you why. 
because I want to take and cut it off when I start getting it ready for where I'm putting decorations. You'll see. It's very easy, very simple. Anybody can do it. That's the reason I was using the um, zip ties because you know it's a lot easier for everybody instead of using wire. And because I mean the floral wire um, works to a certain point. You know, and if your hands are like mine, sometimes they don't want to um, work right. The zip ties work perfect. And you just keep going till you get all the way around to where you started. And then you go up to the next row. And to me, um, it's a lot easier than working with mesh because, um, <clears throat> you know, the mesh, um, it is a little hard for some people, but um, I'm hoping I can find some mesh, and I'll show you guys the um, how to do it with the mesh. <clears throat> because my Dollar Tree is out of the mesh. So, I'm just kind of working with what I can find at my Dollar Tree. Alright, let's see. It's still like a little bit here. And. You know what, guys? We may only have to have one because I mean, one done too, and we have two more left. So, I am going to go to the second row, well, third row now, and add my tie. Here, poke it under there, so it'll come through. And I'm still on the, that one, I'm still using the one. So, I'll let you guys know, hadn't used the second one yet. And it's nine foot, so I mean, it really goes a long way. Okay. And I mean, I can't tell y'all how many, um, how much of this stuff because it all depends on what size reef you get. I mean, this one is a 14 inch. And so far, I'm still on one garland. All right, now I'm starting on the second garland here. And get it here. 
And y'all see, I'm not doing anything special. I mean, I'm just wrapping, pulling it around. Well, I'm not really wrapping, I'm just zip tying it to the mesh. And I always only had two colors, the black and the purple, and then they had the black and silver. But with this, you know, I'm using the blue um, hat, and I wanted to really use um, the same colors. I don't know how in the world y'all missed that. That spot here I missed. Okay. Now y'all see, I mean, it's not going to be quite as full as a the mesh, like I told you, but it does give you an option. I'm trying to find the Halloween flowers, you know. Um, I had not found those yet, but I'll find them sooner or later when I'm not looking for them, then I'll find them. And guys, y'all see, this is all I'm doing, same thing, all the way around. Okay, I need to get that turn right. Y'all see what I mean? And you're, I'm taking a lot of the zip ties, but if you don't want to use the zip ties, use your floor, like I told you. But for me, this is a lot easier. And if you have arthritis in your hands or had a stroke and your hands just don't function right, the zip ties are like better. And it's a little less time consuming. Alright, now I'm going up on my last ring. And I'm doing it the same way. And I am still on the second garland runner. I know guys, it's a little hard for y'all to see this, but you can kind of get the idea. I'm going around every one of them. Every row. And I mean, if you don't want yours to have that many, um, you don't have to put that many, but to get the full, um, 
the fullness of it, you know, you, you have to put that many. If you want to get the orange garland and do it all orange, you can. If you want it all, um, I mean, these are the colors that you know ours has. I mean, y'all may have a more um, more options than what I have. But it kind of give you an idea. And once I clip this, you'll be able to see, you're not going to see um, the zip ties. Because, I mean, it really hides in here, no matter what color you use. And if you don't want to use zip ties, zip ties and you have pipe cleaners, use pipe cleaners. Little wire, whatever. But, you'll see... That these zip ties, you're not going to be able to see them in here. And to me, I just like working with these zip ties. I know a lot of people say, oh, that's just the easy way out. You're, um, you're just not wanting to do it right. I mean, I'm giving you all other options. You know, easy way. Easy peasy. And I think I am back and I still have some garland left. So I'm going to put one here. So you only need two. And you read that's three dollars. Just to make your simple. Now I'm going to turn this in and start cutting these off. Cut off all my zip ties. Oops. Now I'm going to flip it over. Well, let me cut this off. So. We used two and had this much off of the two, and that's all we needed on that. But I'm going to turn this over, and that way you don't have to worry about anybody if they touch it. You know, they're not going to cut their fingers. It's all on the other side. Under the bottom. Then, flip it over, and we're going to put our hat on. Sorry guys, it's a little bit hard for me to cut these. Now 
Now, see how we have our um, wreath done? All right, now we're going to take our witch's hat. We're going to put it kind of in the middle. And I'm going to take a zip tie and I'm going to zip tie it. I'm taking my top going back through the bottom. So that way when I pull it tight, I can get it right there in under my wreath. Yeah, it didn't do. Okay. There. I'm going to take an eyeball and hide that so you can't see it. See how I got that? I'm going to pull that under bottom. Sort of a head. Now I'm gonna come up here and put one in the top. Fix it in there. And that's all I'm putting on the boo part, you know, on the hat. I got one up here, and I have one down here. That way, you see, it's not going to move. It's not going anywhere. Now, my ribbon, I want to fix it at the bottom of my witch's hat. I mean, you can take and fix it here on the side if you want to. You know, you can kind of, but I want mine down here. So right where I put that um, zip tie, I'm going to take it through one each side and come back over under the bottom and I'm going to twist tie these two together because the twist tie is already there. Okay. By the way, we have the boo. See how that kind of, you know, lays down. Once you have it on the door or whatever, it will take and go flat like that. But I'm going to have to figure out how to fix this. I don't like that. Um, my chains. I'm thinking about putting the chains on. You know, just kind of. One is going to work. So. I'm only gonna need one chain. Then I was kind of thinking about that eyeballs, but um, I don't think I need to put the eyeballs. And I'm taking my chain in behind my hat. I'm just kind of fixing my chain the way I want so I can zip tie it on here. And 
another zip tie up here on the chain and behind the hat. pretty good like that so one here and I'm just kind of fixing the chain on the side part you know because it's in behind the witch's hat so you're really not going to see Now this is with just the chains on here, you know, and the ribbon. So far, I still think something else needs on here. I don't know if there's batteries already in here or not. Um, if it ain't. I'm going to have to buy some batteries before I put these on. But this will kind of give you an idea. I get some batteries before I can add them. Unless I still have some in here. Um, batteries. Alright guys, the wreath part here, um, what I'm, you know, doing, you can add the eyes, but I think this here is enough on this one, um, and then you can hang it up on your wall, um, hang it on your door, you know, but I might put something on here to get this kind of flat the way I want it, but this is our witch's hat wreath with chains on it. Let me know what you think. I love y'all.